making a run at it, aren't you? Rolling up a stake and going to Vegas. The number one poker internet show is now on the radio. This is The Mark Oak Show. The Mark Oak Show. For the next 60 minutes, we're going to talk poker news, entertainment, and have lots of Sin City surprises. The phone lines are open at 731-1230. That's 731-1230. Or toll-free. Toll-free. 1-866-820-5528. That's 1-866-820-KLAV. Now, let's bring on the host. It's going all in. Here is Mark Hoke. He's sinking the Mark Hoke here in the KLAV studios. Apparently, this chair doesn't like me very much. <laughs> you look like I, such a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! All right, well, we'll we'll take care of this during the break, but I can handle it. Yeah. I'm I'm a professional. I've yeah. got this. Oh, is that what just happened? Did you almost just fall out of your chair? Well, first, well, I saw actually, you go sideways, but I didn't know what happened. I was on my phone. Okay, r- real funny story, very quickly. So, for the first time, all three of my guests got lost coming to the studio. I mean, every, po- poker players. Every one of them. So my phone's blowing up, but I I got them all here. We made it. So then I come running in here in the studio real quick. I didn't even get to prep everybody and what we wanted to do today i hooked my foot in the chair almost knocked the chair over fortunately nobody saw that then i sit down and this chair just sank everybody else is nice and at a good comfortable height they're relaxed and i'm slumped down here like a freaking troll thanks a lot everybody we're going willy-nilly just let it go oh man you gotta be kidding me but (laughs) but yeah thanks yeah yeah you gotta talk into that thing so the the media person over here you look can't. so pretty this early in the morning. OMG, thank you. It t- I had to wake up two hours early to get this shit done. And Uh-oh. It, it, and <laughs> There's the drop. <laughs> Beep. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't Yes, say we're that. on real radio now. Is the S word? Is yes. Oh, man. It's a bad word. I'm going to have a hard time here. Oh, Lord. Here we go. What, what happens if we do that? Does it get, like, bleeped out, or do we get fined, and we just Tim get to say it, though? Tim the master. Tim, Tim's got it. Oh, you're Tim's on top of it? All right, all right. He survived a Mike Mattisau a couple weeks ago, so oh, I think wow. we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> but good training. Anyway, this is the Mark Hoke Show. I'm Mark Hoke, having a great time here, obviously. And I got to say, I have three of my favorite people in poker in this room right now. I mean, I adore all three of these right. crazy I'm going to put kids. that up there, too. When I heard who was coming on today, I was like, this is, this, I couldn't ask for better. I'm excited. Yeah, super fun. There's Katie's, so many jerks out there. Yeah. yeah. yeah these guys. No. So, yeah, we'll just isolate ourselves from now on. This, yeah. is, this is a good group. Katie Stone of the Grindettes <laughs> is live in studio. Live in the U.S. Can you believe it? Thank God. You can't. Five days. Come and home. is also looking really cute with some adorable oh. lipstick on. I'm just saying. I'm really into you know, makeup this, right now. You know, this lipstick is actually uh, a, a, a surprise order on Sephora. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like I never order stuff like that I haven't seen in person. And, like, I just picked it. And I'm like, I'm just going to take a shot and see if it turns out good. I have that problem all the time. I create carts on a million different websites. Oh, I do that too. Wow. And then I get wasted and be like, order, oh my order, God. order, <laughs> let's go. Like After a good wasted night, I just find like, what is this package? Where did this come mm-hmm. from? And then I try to hide it from Heath. But, oh, that, it's, it's like, I think it's cleaning supplies. I think it's oats for your shakes. Yeah, that's Sarah Grant from Poker News, everybody. Oh, yeah. Anti-Chardonnay. <laughs> yeah. Of course, also the Pretty Broad podcast, which is pretty broad. Yeah. I got to say. Oh, my God. It's pretty awesome. You can't imagine all the – you were, you were, like, talk about people giving you garbage. You can't imagine all the all the trash I get. I don't care. It's okay. GFI. I love them. I, I listen to them in Mexico while I'm grinding online. I love them. They're I awesome. I love them. Grindette. That's our, that's our <laughs> target audience right there. <laughs> I'm and stealing that package idea because uh, that is good. I'm I'm still like a little kid. I, whenever I get something in the mail, I just assume it's a Christmas present, yes. no matter what time <laughs> of the year it is. So like, I'm gonna start doing that, and I'm gonna be like the happiest person yeah, you've ever met. It. If they actually, we should make a service. This would make such a difference to me. If they would wrap the presents and send them to you, it would be so. Even if it, you know, like you order something, eh, it's not really that exciting. But if you got to unwrap it. Like a real, yeah. I gave Christy, uh, Christy Arnett from Poker News last night, I gave her her birthday presents and I wrapped the, I put them in a bag. I've wrapped what was inside so of that. Fun. She was like, I haven't had someone wrap my presents in forever. <laughs> I take it back to the old school and it, 
it makes it seem more you can give crappy presents but if you no, it really does. Does. <laughs> yeah no but it's true because like in this day and age like people always order things you know gift cards and stuff online and like everything is so nothing is like in person anymore so like adding that touch makes is it like, seem like you care yeah which i do yeah. if you're listening by that's the way. so awesome also i i feel bad now because our other guest here Technically, is our featured guest for the day, but I, of course, this is equal footing today. Wait, you don't want to talk about makeup and yeah. lipstick? Come on. Come on. I mean, honestly, you guys are Jessie calling each other pretty, and I, I know I'm a dude, but I'm like kind of left out over here. I mean, you are pretty. Jesse, it's you, you me, buddy. Pretty. We got yeah, it. We got come it. On. Jesse James Sylvia joined us here. Pound it out, Jesse. There we How go. Doing? Runner up in the 2012 World Series main event. Good to have you here as well, my friend. It's good to be here. I'm more awake than I thought I'd be. You know, see, Very everybody exciting. everybody grumbles about coming down here for an 11 o'clock show. But once you get here, bam, it's magic. I'm glad. I thought it was going to be later at night. And I was like, oh, if I have to miss happy hour, I might have to take a taxi there. Like, it's going to cost me money. Get here early. Get it out. We can all go to happy hour after the show. Perfect. Which will be like Have you ever done happy hour in the studio, Mark? Have you ever had anything? Oh, Tim is shaking his head. Tim's shaking his head over here. (laughs) Well, we'll just have to have have it. You know, 14 guests come down here and have a drunk fest in the studio. Oh, I'm sorry. Did did they hear that out there? I think they did. Done. Do you have to bleep out happy hour? Is that one of the words that we can say that? (laughs) All right. Oh, my God. Well, normally, just so you guys know, if you're new to listening to the show, of course, we open with the the poker news of the day. Um, We also have our grind death segment. We don't have to have a grind death segment today. We've got one here. Mm. And unfortunately, Doug Hull, we had a little technical difficulty with his Poker Plays You Can Use strategy segment, so we don't have that either. So we're kind of wide open here to start off. But because Poker News is being such a bunch of sweethearts and putting the Mark Hoke Show up in the family of podcasts on the site, Sarah probably didn't even notice that, did you? A, I didn't know that, and B, when you said family, I started thinking, oh, God, is this a family show? Do I have, Do we have to reel ourselves in? No, here? we're good. <laughs> we're good. It's okay. Okay. But, but it is time for the read. Scanning the poker tables from around the world. This is The Read, brought to you by PokerNews.com. Did you like that, Sarah? <laughs> Did you like that? Dot com. One man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Who does that for you? John Lundquist. I mean, I he's the man. Yeah. He, that's a skill. That's a yeah. skill I always wanted to have. Yeah. I just don't. It's definitely a skill. There's, like, people in radio that have been doing that for, like, 50 years, like, and they still do it. It's awesome. Like, your voice And I know actors alive. who are voice actors who make more money than any yeah. regular and have more work, but it's such a small niche thing. Like, once you get in, you're oh, just yeah. the voice of everything. Yeah. Like, my mom has been using the same guy for over 10 years. Like, he's done for, every... Yeah, for she, voices. For radio. Yeah, for, right. yeah, for voice over here. Is your mom a radio she is person? CBS. Yes. She's on Fox in the mornings on in Houston, and the weekends she's on CBS Radio. Oh my gosh! You probably know that's a lot why about I feel what's like going that's why on. I feel, like I feel mom, really. I, that's why I'm like I'm not shutting I, up because as soon as I get into a studio, I'm just like chatty Kathy. Like I should let Sarah do the news. I'm intimidated. I, oh, yeah. I should yeah. just let you do yeah. the news let's right now. News. I mean, this is this is. Yeah, seriously. See, you know, if news. you were around every week, I'd have you come in to do the news for me, and then I wouldn't have to do it. But are we but, talking about poker news? Yeah, we are talking about poker news. We got poker news. A lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, just a few points to touch on here real quick because, I mean, this you can tell this show's already out of control. I'm done. Uh, Ari Angle taking down the Heartland Poker Tour in River City. 142000 125 bucks for Ari Angle. Boy, he's been on a roll. Having an outstanding year, so congratulations to Ari Angle taking that event down. Josh Richard winning the Poker News Mid-States Poker Tour Ho-Chunk event for 78000 Chad Holloway on that final table, by the way. Whoop, whoop, fifth place. That's my boy. Somebody, what a beast. Chad is on fire He's now. like a secret also, beast. you can't refer to him anymore as just Chad Holloway. Oh, World Series of be. Poker bracelet winner Chad Holloway. <laughs> WSOP bracelet winner. Every time I interview him or talk to him or ever even just see him like at breakfast, okay, it's WSOP bracelet winner Chad Holloway. It's, I feel like once you once that happens, every, that's, you have to be called that. Yeah. It's going to happen for you soon, Jesse. Does everyone oh, always you. call you 2000? Nine, ten, what runner up? <laughs> runner it's up just is, last year. Runner up is kind of a good. I mean, it's not a good word, but it's like it's better. I think it's better than second. No, like I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah. Is it like salt on the wounds a little bit? Like, do I have yeah. to hear that again? It it's it's weird because I mean, like, I was one of those kids who grew up like absolutely addicted to watching the World Series of Poker and stuff. So, I focused a lot on like, wow, this guy did this during the heads up match, and he, you know he could have won if he didn't do that. And if I ever get there, I'm not going to do that. And, like, I did just, you know, basically flip, so it wasn't, like, a big deal. But 
the fact that you focus so much on what you're going to do and then you get there and you don't win, you're like, no. Oh. Do you just it's not, relive it's not those moments, hear it. like have nightmares all the time? No, I'm, I'm pretty okay with my life and stuff. <laughs> I'm a happy yeah, guy, he's doing okay. I you're, mean, you're doing all right. It, it didn't, it, it was nice that Greg won because it's like, I really like that guy a lot and he's like such a great poker per Like he's just such a professional poker player in every sense of the word. It makes you a lot. It's like a lot of pressure to win yeah. too. You know, I think a lot of people don't think about that, that when they make the final table and they finish, it's it's a lot of pressure, not just because of the money on the line, but now you're out there. Yep. Like you are, you belong to the public. Yeah. Now, yeah. You know, and Actually, that's a big responsibility. That's, that's what's way worse than hearing runner up all the time yeah. is every time I see Greg, he's always like, oh man, you should have won the tournament. I have to do all these interviews and stuff. I'm like, I would totally that would do that, yeah. man. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to talk about that a little bit later in the show, what it's like to be in that spotlight. And of course, you know, with Ryan Reese just winning the world title, we're going to, and you know, being in the media and the grindettes coming up the ladder, of course, doing very well. We're going to talk about uh, what it takes to get yourself out there a little bit. Uh, we also want to, I want to make sure we get to mention this event that's a big story up on Poker News as well. Uh, there is a poker tournament going on out in Philadelphia to help a seven-year-old kid, uh, Weston Keaton, uh, is looking to get a heart and double lung transplant. Oh, dang. Unbelievable. Uh, so on Tuesday, December 10th, uh, the All In for Weston charity poker event is going to take place at Chickie's, Chickie's and Pete's Crab House and Sports Bar, 1526 Packer Avenue, South Philadelphia. It's a 175 tax deductible buy in. So if you're out in the East Coast, and I know a lot of my friends are out there, get out there, get into that tournament and help this kid out. I mean, the picture on Poker News, oh my God. It sounds amazing, though, too, just the tournament. Like, it's in a Crab Shack slash bar. Done. That's gonna be an awesome. I want to be like, like getting my fingers <laughs> all buttery and like drinking a beer. The and cars doing are the just cards. covered like, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Like, I, I don't think it's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> I wish I was living in Philadelphia yes. at this moment. So it's a great cause. Help a seven-year-old kid out trying to you know save this kid's life. And so That's anybody bananas. out there in Philly, get out there and do it. And great story on Poker News. Dot com about that as well. Hey, by the way, of course, I got to mention because we, we lost control early. Got to mention our sponsors. Of course, the Mark Hoke Show is powered by BlueRail.net and bl- brought to you by Blind Squirrel Apparel, Off Tilt Poker Tables, Team Poker Joker, Poker Plays You Can Use by Doug Hall, Final Nine Comic. You guys got to check that out, by the way. Go to FinalNineComic.com. I feel like there was a video about that, maybe. Yeah, you guys did some story on that, so so check that out. Our good friends at Arctic Blue Cooling Towels, and I can't wait to have you guys play your Arctic Blue Keep Your Cool game of the day. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, you guys are screwed on this one. Sounds like a doozy. I have you set up like you wouldn't believe. Uh, Three Bet Clothing, our good friends at RogueWire, the internet home of the Mark Hoke Show, and, of course, our good friends at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Jesse, you bet sports? Uh, Very, very occasionally, yeah, with friends and stuff. Well, here's a number to call. You go to go, you can go to doubledigitcovers.com or give them a call at 855-489-3500. Get your free pick of the day, and you know, they'll help you to get the job done. Guarantee it. Well, I can't guarantee it, but they're pretty darn good. So check them out. All right. So uh, actually, we're getting ready to uh, hit in a commercial break. So let's, uh, let's hit that now, and we will come back with Katie, Sarah, and Jesse right after this. The heat is on. Whether you're in the hot seat of a major poker tournament or just dealing with everyday life, stay cool with a brand new Arctic Blue cooling towel. Just wet your reusable and durable Arctic Blue cooling towel in cold water and you'll have instant cooling relief at your fingertips for up to five hours. The towel is lightweight and pliable, so you can keep it handy no matter where you are. Plus, it's absorbent enough to make sure you and your clothes stay dry while you stay cool. No need to sweat it out no matter what you're doing when you have an Arctic Blue cooling towel handy. So get the same cooling towel used by professional athletes, poker players, first responders, physical therapists, U.S. automakers, and even reality TV stars. So what are you waiting for? Visit them today at arcticblu.com and pick yours up today. Plus, enter the discount code MARKHOKESHOW when you check out and get 15% off plus free shipping to keep some of your cold hard cash in your wallet. It's like the Arctic Blue Bear says, it's not cool to be hot. So pick up your Arctic Blue cooling towel today. 
Join us on Saturday, November 30th for an outstanding day of poker excitement. It's Lane Flax on Tilt Poker Throwdown 2013 at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas to benefit the Southern Nevada Bully Breed Rescue and the Las Vegas Boxer Rescue. Brought to you by On Tilt Merchandisers and Rockwell Watches. The Poker Throwdown features a unique five-team format plus individual participation as well. Team up with a poker pro or celebrity and take your shot at winning it all. Red carpet photos, silent auctions, great poker action, and a VIP after party await you at the Poker Charity Event of the Year. Visit PokerThrowdown.net for more information and join Lane Flat at the Golden Nugget on Saturday, November 30th for the On Tilt Poker Throwdown. Throwdown. Want to be a millionaire? Then see if you can become Fantasy Sports Royalty in the 2013 Fantasy Football Millionaire Grand Final at DraftKings.com. Play for free or in paid contests for real money, plus games last one day, so there's no long-term commitment. Thousands of winners have won over 10 million prizes on DraftKings.com, and now it's your turn to cash in. Go to DraftKings.com right now, enter the promo code HOKE, and get a 100% deposit bonus and a free entry into the Millionaire Grand Final Qualifier. So don't wait. Crown yourself the king of fantasy sports at DraftKings.com. When it comes to custom poker tables, why would you buy something someone else designed and even named for their sales or marketing purposes? The Nighthawk, the Gambler, the Big Slick, the Nuts. Sure, you can customize it if you want as long as you choose between black, red, or even green cloth, but that's about it. When you choose to play off tilt, it's not just another table, it's your table. The same price gets you a fully custom designed table that reflects your style and game. Off tilt makes it easy to design a truly one of a kind custom poker table that'll give you a home table advantage. Sure, Off Tilt could name their tables for marketing purposes, but why? It's not ours. We don't play on it. And to be honest, there are over a thousand named Off Tilt tables worldwide, including the WSOP, the Deep Stacks Poker Tour, the Jonathan Papelbon, as well as Julie's, Chris's, Scott's, Amber's, Tristan's, just to name a few. So let us add your name to the list and deliver a truly custom-crafted, furniture-quality poker table worthy of your game. Visit www.offtiltpokertables.com or call Brian Knott today at 262-490-3812. We'll show you why Off Tilt is the only way to play. Win your share of $50,000 in cash and prizes and get into the game for free with the Nevada Poker League. NPL has 17 locations in the Las Vegas area for you to play poker with your friends and neighbors. New season starts early October. Find a location near you at NevadaPokerLeague.com and get in the action tonight. One man, his lucky shirt, an unforgettable night and a winning streak that never seemed to end. That's how Blind Squirrel began, and we haven't looked back since. We make the clothes that we want to wear for the places where we want to look and feel our best. The game, the speakeasy, and the casino floor. Blind Squirrel's small batch, high-quality gear is for people too busy grabbing life by the nuts to bother with crappy, ill-fitting clothing. Because like you, we prefer our nights long, our drinks strong, and our lucky shirt to be our most comfortable. So look good, be lucky, and visit BlindSquirrelApparel.com for your new favorite shirt. As an added bonus, you'll receive 20% off your purchase with the promo code HOKE, H-O-K-E. You can also pick up Blind Squirrel Apparel at the Borgata in Atlantic City and in Las Vegas at all Masura stores at Mandalay Bay, Monte Carlo, The Mirage, and MGM Grand. Look good and be lucky with Blind Squirrel Apparel. This is the Mark Hoke Show. The Mark Hoke Show. Here again, your host, Mark Hoke. Okay, I'm back up now. I, I have the correct chair, so I'm now looking everybody in the eye. I feel a little... I feel like when Sarah's tall too, so I should have taken a picture before. Now yeah. it just looks normal. I'll, wah, wah. I'll, uh -oh. I'll sit in the chair for you later. It's all good. But Katie Stone of the Grindettes, Sarah Grant of Poker News and WSOP 2012 runner of Jesse Sylvia joining us here. And well, Jesse, let me I like that you glossed over the runner up that time. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, we had <laughs> that was very kind. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um Jesse, now that this is over, what do these guys face? moving forward in terms of trying to further their careers you know, get themselves out there more, make themselves more remarkable. I know you have some things that you're working on outside of poker. Where do you go from when that final table's over to you know where you are now? What happened? 
Um, I, I, I mean, I looked at it going into it as just a positive thing. Like when you have such a big score, pretty much any other, you know, big score type of thing that you have in any tournaments after that is just going to pile up, sorry, pile up on top of that. So it's just, I mean, I, I was very positive in that, like, oh, man, if I win a tournament now, they're going to be like, wow, this guy won a tournament, and he took second in the main event. So it's, you know, it's a very uh, it's a very positive thing to have going for you. Um, I can't speak for Reese as much. I know he's probably just going to get a lot of media attention. And, um, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how he handles that, um, how he, you know, if he shows up, does all the interviews, you know, kind of, is the ambassador for the sport that people want you to be when you, when you, you know, win the main event. Um, but for like people like I, I'm pretty close to Jay, I feel like he's been doing an amazing job of putting himself out there. He's already, uh, he did an interview with, um, TMZ already, mm-hmm. which I was kind of like blown away by because that's not, I mean, they chase around, you know, a list celebrities or whatever. So I thought that was really cool of him. Yes. And, uh, yeah, he's been doing some other stuff like that. He's got a lot of connections via the whole, club world and all that stuff too so um it's been really cool seeing what those guys have done compared to what we've done and stuff like that why don't poker players try to get out there in more of a mainstream format and you just mentioned jake doing tmz you know i mean i sit there and i think about how if i'd win the world series of poker main event i would be trying to get on the tonight show the jimmy kimmel show i mean i would be out there just like look here it is i mean and, and taking advantage of that opportunity why don't we see more guys try to step out and get on you know network tv shows and things like that and take advantage because you have to be interesting some are interesting yep not to the rest of the world for the most part like i'm sorry for the most part most poker players are really interesting to poker players but to people who don't know anything about poker and don't want to talk about poker, you have to have other things going on in your life. You have to have either done other things or be doing other things, which is why I would say, like, for example, maybe people are interested in Jake's. So they're like, oh, the club life, that's like, you know, something I don't know about that's interesting. When mm-hmm. I come to Vegas, I want to know about clubs, and he's in that scene, so that's at least sort of interesting. But if you're mostly just really good at poker, what are they going to ask you on The Tonight Show? Are you going to... Are we going to talk about your love life? Are we going to talk about... I don't sure, know. why not? Have fun. Well, Do they know, have love lives? Well, Ryan, you know, one thing with Ryan, for example, uh, you know, he got a lot of attention on ESPN, uh, you know, especially I saw on, uh, on Grantland. Bill Simmons put him in his column, and that's huge, you know, getting his column because, of his, <laughs> you know, he's got the Detroit jersey on, of course, and then, you know, there's how much he resembles Dirk Nowitzki. I, I so, read a tweet where uh, I think Simmons said, this is the best thing that's ever happened to the Detroit Lions. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Was him winning the main event wearing the jersey. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, it, it's it's intriguing to to see how everyone takes their different road. I know Greg, you know, Greg, I thought, did a great job as an ambassador for the game. You know, did a lot of work on that campaign out in Maryland, for example, when they were trying to get table games out there. But, you know, I, th- I think there's... It, it's a very interesting conflict. You know, you bring it up, you know, how do you be interesting if you're not? But, but you know, you like, know, for example, what he, you know, everyone was all up in arms about him saying that he, something along the lines of he's the best poker player in the world. And regardless of whether or not he thinks that, when you look back at the characters um, in the game, the people, the, you know, Scotty Wins and the Daniel Granus and the, a lot of the, the characters that have found themselves outside of the poker world, they do it by... Being, you know, any press is good press. Being controversial, being Mm -hmm. dynamic, being crazy. And I think there's a big difference between being an ambassador for the game. Um, And like Jesse, I would say, Jesse's like the nicest, most fun, easygoing person. To me, that's like an amazing ambassador to the game. That makes people be more interested in playing poker and feel like, oh, maybe I could play poker too. But the flip side not being an ambassador but being like in the public eye outside of poker is a whole different thing and saying things like i'm the best poker player in the world while that's going to piss off a lot of poker players that's it's like interesting it's controversial it's crazy and i think that's the problem is like so many people especially in poker are so afraid to be controversial and so afraid to like piss people off or to be like really crazy and i think if they were more crazy then maybe they would find themselves outside of the poker world more frequently because other people would find them more interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of incredible personalities in the game. It would be nice to see these guys step out of the board. No, Katie, you, know, you are very, very heavy in the online community, and those guys really struggle with that sometimes when they get put in the spotlight. 
they're not used to it. I mean, a lot of times these guys are sitting behind their computers, you know, twenty four seven, and don't really get out and do that. You know, what what do you recommend to maybe some of the people that are the online superstars that aren't used to doing that? Well, I think I mean it's a very valid point that that Sarah is bringing up, and I think a lot of it is just due to the fact that poker is primarily a young game. You know, I mean, it's not a young game; it's an old game, but it's a young game. It, it's 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 the stars in the game are young. And so a lot of these, like you, you mentioned online phenoms or just anybody who does well in a tournament, you know, sometimes they don't have as many like life experiences as I don't want to say normal because I don't want to sound weird, but you know, like a normal person who went to high school, college, got married, had kids, has a job, you know, like that's, you know, that's not what a poker player really is most of the time. And a lot of these, you know, especially people online. And so they just don't have the experience kind of to, you know, recognize kind of what goes on outside of poker unfortunately and that's why black friday was so devastating for so many people because uh and you have 23 year old people who have been playing online poker for five years and like they have no they have no other skills you know like what are they gonna do you know but, and one of my favorite interviews i ever did was with mike mattis who it was really <laughs> crazy it was right after black friday and i was just talking you know i was asking him about his thoughts about it all and he was saying he's like you know there's a lot of kids in this game that were basically born with a silver spoon in their mouth and i was like what do you mean what is what are you talking about he said these kids have been playing online forever and they it's like it was a you could just make so much money so easily he's like i want to see these kids what happens when they run out of money and they have to go wash dishes or like see them you know just really to me what i think is so interesting about poker is a lot of the older guys having these crazy you know going broke and coming back and borrowing and dealing with like mafia people and just like degening like that's crazy <laughs> that's like crazy interesting stories and i think that's part of what is interesting to the public about poker that the you know younger guys really just you know they're playing a different game it's the online game i think it's a different game it's a whole different thing but that being said, I will say it, some of them are so witty online. Like you have these Skype Very conversations witty. with yeah, them, definitely. and they're so smart Very and they're so smart. clever. And then you put a microphone, and then all of a sudden it's like done. I can only talk about poker now. I'm like, you are. I know you are funny. It's you because, just get it out yeah, here, like, boy. A lot of times they just don't know how to hold like a real. I mean, it sounds so bad though. Like they don't know how to hold a real conversation like in person. You yeah. know, like they just they're mostly online. And if you try to like, there's so many people that you see during the World Series. Like I talk to people all day long from all over the world from 20 different countries and then you see and 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 and, and they don't shut up like they're just da -da 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 all day typing 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 you see them in vegas during the world series and 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 you see them one time and that's it and and you never see them again because they're just they're like recluses you know they just want to go play poker go back to their hotel room and that's it and it's like but then i'll talk to them online that night i'm like bro why can't we go out and like get a drink or something you know yeah, and, yeah, it's more just, comfortable online, you know. Yeah, it's more comfortable. How tough is it for, for you guys when you know when you get to that November nine experience, and now all of you are in the spotlight? What was it like for you to have to deal with that? And you know, what do you, do you think that maybe the World Series could do some more things for you to, to help, you know, push you along and advance your careers a little bit while you're in that spotlight? Um, yeah, maybe. I think there's an evolution of getting used to the camera, for sure, and. Um, I always like to think about it as, you know, for every person in the group that you're you're friends with and you're comfortable with, you'll act more like yourself. And for every person in the group that you're uncomfortable with that you've never met before, you'll act different. And a camera is like a gigantic room of people that you've never met. Hmm. It represents everyone that you've never met before watching. And so and that's judging, like a very weird judging. thing. You don't know yeah. who to be. Judging. You don't know how and, to be. And, and you're, you're like in your mind, what you like how much you think they're judging is so much more than what they're actually going to be judging. But, you know, you just you yes, think the no. worst. I actually think there's a lot, uh, especially the people who are online yeah, typing are all day. They're <laughs> also like, oh, my God, you have, you know, six zits or like you're I remember when like I very first started at Poker News and I started seeing all the comments on YouTube. I was devastated. Mortified. I made a whole video about how I was going to come to people's houses and punch them because I was so mad about all that. Wow. I'm like, great. You that's have so no great, lips. You have. I'm like. I never even thought about that. Now I have to think about that. Like, but just, you know, I think people, and I think especially people who um, are in this industry who are primarily people who are sitting on the poker or on the, you know, computer all day, that they are super judgmental and really sometimes I think don't give people a lot of chance to sometimes say stupid things or make mistakes or have differing opinions or, you know, I do think this community is pretty, pretty hard on people. 
It's been, like I'd all agree. this backlash from Ryan Reese, like saying one thing. I'm just like people. It was like there was a hundred zillion blogs about it, and everybody's up in arms. I'm like, give the kid a break to just like be enjoy it and feel like he's the best in the world for one time. Let him have it. Like, come on. I don't know. I just think, and you're lucky, Jesse, because you're like, I've you know, I think you were really comfortable. I mean, I remember interviewing you right from the beginning. I think you were pretty confident already, so it seemed comfortable and casual, and maybe you make friends easily, so it seems like, oh, the interviewer can be my friend. I was very hungover that day. Well, that helps. <laughs> that helps I a remember lot. our first interview. You were a very good interviewer, and I was very out of touch with reality, and it came out really well considering the circumstances. It's not unlikely that I was also <laughs> hungover, so we may have just been like t- tuning in together. <laughs> but, you know, I think for a lot of these guys who maybe are more nervous and are more uncomfortable, and then maybe they do spaz a little and say something weird, or and then everybody's going to pick apart every, oh, the jersey, let's talk for an eternity about your outfit choice or your, I don't, I really do think this industry is really hard on people. And, you know, and, and Katie, you know, of course, you're a moderator on two plus two, which is one of the biggest poker oh forums gosh. in the world. And you I'm know, a some... moderator. I'm also, uh, I also founded one of the forums on two plus two, the ladies forum. Yeah. Yep. Which so, has a good name, right? TWSS. Yes. That's what she said. Yeah. Yes. All right. I like, that. <laughs> oh, I like that. So you're, you know, I know that there's you know, other forums on there that you don't necessarily deal with a lot of that trolling type I, well, stuff. Well, I deal as with, much. I deal with MTTC though. I, I was modded a few months ago in MTTC, oh. which is pretty, Pretty. What it, does that mean? Uh, MTTC is uh, MTTC for community, so multi-table tournament community. There's like, um, it, there's definitely, there's lot definitely of lots of trolls. Yeah, and it's tough. You know, Ryan, when he made the the final two, so many people were bashing his play on Twitter and and forums. I mean, he was getting destroyed out there, and you know, you really wonder how fair that is. I mean, when people aren't sitting at that table. You know, they don't understand what's happening in the dynamic. Sure. And, you know, here's a kid who's, you know, 23 years old, just been on the tournament scene for a year and a half, and he's out there with the greatest moment of his life and getting mauled. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe, um, I don't know, there might be, to be brutally honest, there might be a little bit of a sense of jealousy, maybe, within the community. You just think? Just because, <laughs> um, just because of the fact that he is fairly new, uh you know, t- I mean, he's only been doing it for like a couple of years, basically. You know, he, I think he, he played uh, his first poker tournament or something was like the biggest one he'd ever played, which was that, that circuit, or it was some main event or something, like a 1600 or something, and he ended up getting second for like 200K or six figure score. And so he's had, and then he had, and then he had like a pretty ridiculous summary where he had like lots of caches and stuff. So he's had a, a relatively stellar mtt performance uh which is very not normal you know in 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 tournament poker obviously so um he's done very well in the short period of time you know there's people that have been grinding for 10 years and or 20 years and won't come anywhere near you know what he did in one year so um and so so maybe there's a little bit of uh maybe people you know are a little bit a little bit resentful that the fact that he's been so successful so quickly but the really dumb thing about that is that they're poker players, they're professionals. They have to know that that's going to happen, and that will happen, and it will continue to happen, and they shouldn't be surprised by it, you know. So yeah, Jesse, did you go through a lot of that? Um, a little bit, I think, because I had such like a casual attitude, and I'm not, I wasn't very controversial during the whole thing. No one really said too much bad stuff about me. I remember people writing a lot of stuff about how annoying my rail was at the final table. They were a little which, drunk. I mean, yeah, but, like, that was my favorite thing about me being at the final. (laughs) I thought that they were amazing, and it was, you know, we went till 7 a.m., and they were very loud, and, like, who cares at that point? Everyone's, you know, just trying to stay up and stuff, so. And And compared to this year, like, they weren't being rude. They weren't using F-bomb chants and making fun of people and stuff. They were (laughs) cheering for you and with you. It was bad. I mean, I was on Jay's Rail, and, like, it was kind of, like, fun back and forth, but some of the stuff that each side said was pretty unreal yeah it was a it was a wild night that's for sure well we'll get back to this discussion a little bit but it is time for the arctic blue keep your cool game of the day it's time for the arctic blue keep your cool game of the day i'm, I'm trying not to laugh because when i said that everybody looked at me like Uh-oh. oh boy <laughs> oh boy Oh, hey, sorry. make sure that, of course, if you don't have an Arctic Blue cooling towel, my God, go buy one right now. Go to arcticblu.com. 
You wet that towel down. It stays cool for up to five hours, so it's perfect for the golf course. You know, when you're doing some interviews maybe on camera and you get a little warm, you got that thing, you know, it's pretty nice. So check it out. You're going to get 15% off when you check out, plus free shipping if you put in the code Mark Hoke Show. So get over there today at arcticblue.com. All right. Jesse, of course, in honor of our main guest, we're going to play a little game for you. Of course, Jesse James, Sylvia. One of, the, You know, there have been many Jesse Jameses famous over the years. Uh-oh. We, we, I, I always we, told my friends that if I ever made a final table, I, if I needed to, I would wear the cowboy hat and boots and stuff just to get the sponsorship. I, I was like, I have no shame. I'll just go yeah. out there. I'll dress like a cowboy. And they will have to sign me because that'll be a ridiculous shtick for poker. Little Wrangler. Yeah, I would have so supported that. That would have been that. awesome. You know what I was so. going to do? If Russell made the final three, um, that was Halloween night. I was going to, uh, I guess, like dye my hair and spike it up and get the glasses and be Russell for Halloween at the final table. Wow. And I, one of my biggest regrets is that I didn't just be Greg instead and wear the jersey and stuff. But Well, you should. I don't know. It was I, an Orioles I mean, jersey. It was good stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That would be right. a my, my friends at home in Boston would love that. Oh, that that would be great. You'd have to like <laughs> shave your head though. Like, yeah, I mean, I would I would have had to go for and it. And then full get, the, on. get the little glasses. It would have been great. You know what he like, said? It was like the funniest, kind of like cutest thing I've ever heard. When we were walking in, me, him, and Jake, it was like the final three. We'd just been hanging out for like an hour, we're about to go compete for like, you know, like eight and a half million dollars. And he looks at us. He's like, "Hey guys, I just want you to know that." Um, these sunglasses aren't just sunglasses. They're prescription glasses. I, I didn't want you to think that I just wear sunglasses inside all day. We're like, all right, man. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Wow. Yeah. That's a good story. That's adorable. He's, he's that one really of my cute. favorite. That's adorable. He's one of my favorite human beings. He really is. All right. Well, we got to play the game. All right. All right. That, that's a great story. But that, that is good, though. We'll keep that one. Um, <laughs> put that one in the vault. We'll definitely put that in the vault. All right. All right. I'll ask Greg about that when, when I interview him on Sunday on the show. All right. So... Featuring some other great Jesse James, of course, we have the the legendary outlaw Jesse James. We had the wrestler Jesse James. I'm sure, you you might remember him. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give shoot off. You're going to have about thirty seconds, and I'm going to shoot off facts about one of these three people: or the the outlaw, the wrestler, or this guy right here. And you just have to tell me either outlaw, wrestler, or poker player. He's got an edge on us, I would say. We'll, we'll see about Am that. Am I in this game? I yeah, you'll, you'll get a turn on this. <laughs> all you're all going to get a turn on this. I know one so, of these people pretty <laughs> well. Yeah. All right. So, 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 Katie, you're up first. Oh, Jesus. All right, here we go. Oh, oh music's loud. Okay, ready? Here we go. Was a platoon sergeant in the U.S. Marines. That wasn't me. Wait. <laughs> Real quick. we got to snap these off wait, fast. Wait, wait. You say wrestler, wrestler, wrestler poker okay, wrestler. 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 Okay. Did a job where he worked in 12-degree weather. Poker player. Correct. Was born in Georgia. Poker player. Incorrect. Outlaw. His dad was known as the Bullet. Outlaw? Nope. Wrestler. <laughs> you got two so far. Shot shot down by Bob Ford. Shot down by... Who's that? Wrestler? Nope. Outlaw. <laughs> that was the one shot Jesse James. Uh, we, we, man, that music disappeared <laughs> quick. Uh, worked alongside Jake Balsiger. Poker. Good. <laughs> Hung out with a guy nicknamed Badass. Oh boy, poker. No oh, wrestler. <laughs> Cher based a song on him. I mean, I have a friend who goes by Badass. <laughs> I want one. Cher, Cher based a song on him. Outlaw. Correct. Was involved in a legendary 13-hour shootout. Oh, poker. Good. We got five of those. Not bad. Not bad. How weird is it that I associated shootout with poker versus yeah, outlaw? Yeah, see, a little tricky a on little that bit. one. All right. Sarah, it's, got me Sarah, it's your turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sarah, it's your turn. Are you uh, ready? Uh, yeah. I got you some special music. Do a little salsa. Oh, yeah. This is really getting me in the mood. All right. Here we go. Was part of the group called the New Age Outlaws? Outlaw. Incorrect. Wrestler. Oh, yes. Was born in Massachusetts. Uh, This guy. Poker player. P- correct. Had a past drug addiction. Greg Marsden. <laughs> no. We're not talking about Greg <laughs> Marsden. Wrestler. 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 Correct. Called his hometown a bipolar place to live. Uh, this guy. Correct. Very good. Was once known as the hardcore champ. Wrestler. Correct. Worked alongside Jeff Jarrett. Outlaw. Nope. Wrestler. I don't know who that is. That's okay. Became famous for his work in Gallatin, Missouri. Outlaw. Correct. Is devilish, devilishly handsome and one hell of a charming guy. Oh, obviously this guy. Incorrect. <laughs> <Mark> <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> now that was just a joke on that one. <laughs> Did well on that. I think you got what? She got six of those. Very good. All right, Jesse, it's your turn. All right. All right. We're going to see how you do. Now, I, got I feel like my questions are going to be tough. Because you can't just ask me stuff about me. I did. We You're have right? your personal diary right here. Uh oh. All right. Lived in Costa Rica and Panama for a short time. Poker player. And you have to answer. By the way, you have to answer saying this guy. Yep. All right. I have to say this guy. If you, if you, gotta, if, you, gotta go if it's you, you got to go yeah. this guy. Like yep. This. All, right. All right. Cool. <laughs> Part of his gang was Michael Hickenbottom. Ah, uh, the outlaw. No, that was the wrestler. Michael Hickenbottom wow. is Shawn Michaels. Has an annual outdoor celebration named in his honor. Uh Outlaw? Correct. Shot down by Greg Merson. <laughs> that was this guy. <laughs> Ooh, that was a wow. zinger. <laughs> Finish, zinger. Finish his victims. <laughs> Finish his victims with what he called the double flapjack. That has to be the wrestler. Correct. Uh, earns, Although I, I have done that before. Oh, you've done the double flapjack? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. Earned six figures in one day before he was 25. Uh, that would be this guy. And also maybe the outlaw? No, it's this guy. It's All just right, this cool. guy. You're good. Chest. Suffered two life-threatening chest wounds. Chest wounds? Chest wounds. Ah, uh, wow. I'm going with Outlaw, but I feel like you're tricking me here. You're going with Outlaw? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Last one. Has an amazingly and stunningly amazing and stunningly beautiful girlfriend with which he could never do without and completes his life. This guy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Very good. I think Jesse uh, I think Jesse and Sarah tied on that. Nice job. All Very right. good. So you know your Jesse James is all right. Yeah. Good work. Huge. I'm proud to know me almost as much as Sarah knows me. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> we decent. go so far back. It's so easy for me to that's, play this game. That's awesome. All right. So make sure you guys check out. Go to arcticblue.com, and we'll have another Arctic Blue Keep Your Cool Game of the Day next week. Commercial break coming up, and we'll be back with these guys having a great time here on the Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for joining us. Sports betters. Tired of getting beat every week at your sports book? It's time to stop guessing and start winning. We all know cash is king, and it's time to let the team at Double Digit Covers come to the rescue to help you get the positive cash flow you need to live the life you've always dreamed about. Tony Dose and his all-star sports handicapping team will be in your corner to help you beat the point spread, bring excitement and winning to your betting experience, and build your bankroll to levels you never thought possible. Get free winning sports information at DoubleDigitCovers.com and call now for today's free winner at 1-855-489-3500. That's 1-855-489-3500. Stop guessing and start winning today at DoubleDigitCovers.com. Last summer, I was at the World Series of Poker every day and couldn't walk two steps without seeing someone wearing three-bet clothing. It's super comfortable and stylish, and all their stuff looks amazing. The incredible team of pros who wear three-bet hats, hoodies, tees, and more are a who's who in poker. All-time greats like Jonathan Little, Doc Sands, Brian Rask, Jason Kuhn, Scott Clements, Greg Mueller, Ben Tolerine, Jeff Gross, and, of course, Antonio Esfandiari, all proudly wearing the three-bet brand. They wear three-bet clothing because they know that being comfortable and feeling confident is crucial to winning on and off the tables. Freebet.com has shipped thousands of orders worldwide, and it's time for you to join the three-bet team just like the pros. Go to the number 3bet.com and receive an added bonus of 15% off with the promo code RADIO. Make that right call. Look and feel like a pro at freebet.com. Poker is more fun when you win. Most poker books are too theoretical. They tell you to be more aggressive, but give few practical examples. Poker Plays You Can Use by Doug Hull, edited by Ed Miller, has 49 concepts with multiple, clear examples from real, live, 1, 2, through 5, 10 games. Each hand is visually represented, explaining which players are vulnerable to these moves. Use discount code KLAV at 3BarrelBluff.com to get 25% off your copy. Paper and ebook available. Your business and promotion will only go as far as your website will take you. That's why the Mark Hoke Show has only trusted one name for over two years. BlueRail.net. Whether you need custom website design and development packages or simply need a host for your website, BlueRail is the only developer to turn to. It's time to discover the world-class personalized service only the BlueRail team can provide. Visit us at BlueRail.net. 
Google.net and call 520-822-5128 right now for your free consultation today. So get on board at BlueRail.net. How far do you want to go? At Team Poker Joker, we build innovative, high-performance, poker-focused apparel designed to keep you cool and calm in tough situations. Wait, no, we don't. We've just got a cool brand representing the suits of this beautiful game called poker. Our gear won't make you better, but it will keep a smile on your face. So don't be so serious and show you know how to have fun. Get your Poker Joker gear today at TeamPokerJoker.com. Grin and win today at TeamPokerJoker.com. Nine poker players on a dramatic path to glory with unbelievable twists and turns that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's the Final Nine comic from Room 110 Publishing. Go to Final, the number nine, comic.com to download the first issue preview and get ready for the official launch coming soon. Nine will become one, one way or another. Final Nine comic.com. And for more details, make sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook at Final Nine Comic. The best in poker news, entertainment, and more. This is The Mark Hoke Show. All right, we are back here on The Mark Hoke Show. Thanks for being with us here on KLAV 1230 AM, the talk of Las Vegas. Of course, if you're out there on the internet land, go to KLAV1230AM.com. Check out my show, plus so much other great programming here. We'd certainly appreciate it. And real quick, some promo codes if you guys want to buy some stuff dirt cheap. We got Blind Squirrel Apparel. You're going to get 20% off with the code hoax. Go to blindsquirrelapparel.com. Poker plays you can use. Get Doug Hull's book. It's 25% off at threebarrelbluff.com. Jesse, you should read that book. It's good stuff, man. What's it called? Poker plays you can use. Poker plays you can use. Yep. All right, I'm in. Check it out. Good, good book. Uh, three bet clothing. Go to threebet.com. 15% off with the code radio. And uh, of course, we also mentioned Arctic Blue already. And Final Line Comic. Go to finallinecomic.com. You get a free preview of the first issue. Nine will become one, one way or another. Awesome. Yeah. It needs that other radio voice. It does. Nine will become one. We have that. <laughs> yeah. We have that. Somewhere. Get that for next time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, well, Sarah, I'm going to fire a question at you here. Let's say you get thrown into the spotlight. Let's just say. And somebody is, you know, you're, you know, Sarah Grant's coming up to you and you know, you're going to have to do an interview. What would you tell somebody that maybe isn't used to being in that spotlight and how to handle it? Oh, wow. Great question. Um, I mean, it definitely, I think, like a lot of things in this life, just takes time, unfortunately, because I was super uncomfortable when I first started to. And when I rewatched things that I did, even the way that my voice sounded when I first started, it was so uncomfortable. But I would also say that it's it's pretty easy to just be yourself, and that's really attractive to other people. So, for example, Greg is somebody also that I really value and appreciate, um, even though he's not always, like, super excited to be in the spotlight. Um, he's also expressed a lot of just honest truths about himself and his life, and I think regardless of whether or not he's dynamic or, you know, particularly interesting, he, because he's just been real and, and authentic, people relate to it. So even if maybe you're not the most interesting person on the planet, if you're just real even about things that you're vulnerable about or things, whatever, people will connect to it and relate to it. I think one of the biggest problems is just people trying to say, you know, they get media training and the media is like, oh, this is, you know, these are great one-liners to throw out there. And, you know, when people ask you this, like, try to respond this way. But I think the more people start overthinking it like that, the more everyone just sounds the same. And it's not attractive to anyone. Yeah, Jesse, I, I would imagine, you know, pro the one thing that you did, because you know, I interviewed you a couple of times over, you know, the past year or so, and you just be yourself, you know, and I think that that's something when you let your personality shine through is going to benefit you in the long run as people see these interviews and you get out there more and more. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's kind of weird to say this, but I kind of learned this fact from like, you know, talking to girls and stuff before I met my awesome, amazing, beautiful girlfriend. Um, <laughs> That when you going first down a whole meet, new direction on this show now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like when you meet somebody, just like meeting, you know, talking to the camera for the first time. When you meet somebody, you always are kind of holding off part of yourself, and you're not the most comfortable. But then later on, when you're hanging out with your friends, you're thinking like, oh man, if I had just been more of myself before, they would have seen like all this cool stuff that I'm doing now. So, 
I don't know, I kind of had like learned that fact through other facets of my life. So when like I had a camera in front of me for the first time, I was a little more comfortable with the fact that like if I just put it all out there and act like myself, you know, people like me, they won't, but at least it'll be interesting because I think if nothing else, I'm a pretty interesting person, but just the way I act and carry myself and stuff. Yeah, and Katie, you know, of course, being with the Grindettes, and as time has gone on, you know, we've been working together for a couple two of years. years now. Yeah, two and a half years, yeah. And you ladies are getting out there more and more. Uh, Jamie's had her moments on WSOP broadcast. Katie Dozier did. You've been doing interviews like crazy. Jen Shahadi's out doing all the chess stuff along with the poker. Is there a little bit more that women need to do in the poker community when they're trying to get out there and, you know, balancing the sexuality as opposed to being the talented poker players and the people that you are? Um, sure. I mean, I think, though, that a lot of women are afraid, you know, to kind of get out there because, as, as Sarah so eloquently explained earlier, this is a tough industry and this is a tough and very judgmental and young crowd and industry and um so i think a lot of of female players are are probably intimidated and I, as am i i'm i'm I, you know i'm i'm very fearful of criticism and what people say and 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 how you look and um but but sure i mean you know the grindettes is it, it, it's kind of cool because it takes a little bit of focus off of the individual it's it's more of a group and so i think that it's just inherently a little bit more comfortable you know for all of us because um it, it, it's interesting the four of us you know the, you know jennifer and katie and jamie and everybody's different everybody has different backgrounds everybody has different experiences and some of us are more comfortable in front of the camera and others prefer to be behind a, a laptop in mexico you know um but i think it's uh I think it's just important, like Sarah said, just to just to be yourself. And, uh, you know, y you brought up a really interesting point about the media, about like, uh, I just had a night. You, sh you should do that for poker players. You should you should you should charge poker players a fee and train them <laughs> coaching to yes. interview to, to, to be interviewed and to be presentable on camera. Like, I'm serious. Sarah. You, you definitely the worst person. No, to no, do no, that. no. Because <laughs> I remember when she started. I remember when she was hired by Poker News a couple of years ago. And, and I and. If I'm not mistaken, your first, uh, I forget, were you in Monte Carlo? Was that your first, was that your first, um, no, my, I don't remember. I think my very first one was uh, by myself, was okay. Deauville. Okay, like I, it was somewhere, ago. yeah, it was somewhere, like, I, I, France, some, I, I remember that. Because yes. I remember when she was, you know, when she first did her first segment, and I've seen the, you know, how you've gone from, you know, from then till now, and I think you'd be a great. And do you know where the biggest change came from was, at the end of that tournament, and subsequently several after, everyone said, you know what your best videos are? Your bloopers. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> that's when oh, you're being yourself. You exactly, yeah. and then I had this, Christy sat me down, and she's like, you know, you're so different on camera than you are in real life, and who you are in real life is the reason that they took you from behind the camera to in front sure. of the camera, so you gotta just figure out how to be yourself, but that's also so much easier said than done. Because you're also dealing with other people and working those dynamics, working those relationships, trying to make poker players who feel uncomfortable feel comfortable, but still being sarcastic and and you know crude or that's my thing. Maybe that's you know whatever your thing is, you gotta figure it out. But maybe maybe I, got I a think new you'd job be coming. great. I think you'd be great at that yeah. because poker players so in that general can that would be a can, fun job can do with. Uh, I'll, I'll make your website for you. I'll help you out. There Sold. You <laughs> and, uh, Jesse, we're under a minute, but real quick, how is the training with the uh, poker training with the girlfriend going? It's going really well, actually. She's, she, I mean, she's just surrounded by really good poker players. Yeah. And she's been learning so much. She, uh, she bubbled both ladies' events uh, this year, so she oh was really frustrated about that because. But she went super deep in another. Yeah. Event. Well, I'm gonna... Yeah, she went. Yeah, she's she's had a pretty good year and she's been doing well. Nice. Well, I'm gonna hang out with your crew from now on. But hey, thank you for listening <laughs> to the Mark Hoke Show. Thank you, Katie, Sarah, Jesse. Awesome show. We'll see you next week. I know we've got uh, John Freeberg and Kenneth James coming in here, so that's just gonna be insane enough. Lord knows who else will be around. But thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week and catch us on Rogue Wire on Sunday. We got Greg Merson coming on the show. Off till Poker Tables Tournament Series. Should be a good time. Thank you so much. We'll see you again later. Thank you. See you.